Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Real quickly, I just wanted to say hello to Kristen. Um, oh, I see Kristen. Um, so, um, not a whole lot of updates other than Robin um, Drew saw some of the stick pass this morning outside and saw Robin's stool. He saw some stick pieces. Pieces, fragments. Um, so she's doing well. Um, everybody's doing well, actually. They're all doing. They're behaving themselves. Juno is. Juno has been. Um, yeah, she's been a lot of fun, but she's like a little kid away on vacation. <laughs> um, Diana, it's nice to see you. Thanks for joining. I hope you and Kelly and Brenda and Enrico are all doing well. Lisa. Nice to see you too. I think I just got everybody. That's everybody. Hey there, Linda. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Um, so if you didn't, if you didn't see the video that we um, filmed today. Um, it's on our it's on our channel. Um, we took them outside, and they of course love when we go outside with them. <laughs> you guys, Dogs. I love how much you love me. I do. I do. You're so sweet. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Um. So let's see. Oh, I know what I want to say. Um. <laughs> I want to say how awesome that was. Oh, yeah. Drew um, worked a little bit of internet magic. My goodness, Robin. Oh, yeah. It's okay. It's all right. Your, your, your husband is wonderful. I appreciate it. <laughs> he started the yesterday. He was like, um, I watched past and heard you talking about me. And I was like, which time? Because the first time I was talking about what he was doing with the internet, um, he would be talking to, he would be walking around with a really big head after. <laughs> what I was saying about him because he really is good. He Drew's really, really good with his hands. And Ew. he he um I can just ask him any random thing like what is this? What how do what does he do if this happens? And he's like, oh we just gotta lift this up and turn this and check that and take a peek and close it up and we'll be good. And so I'm just like where do you where when did you pick that up in your life? And he just I don't know but he Went and got some sort of fancy internet upgrade thing. It's some system that enhances your internet. It's a mesh internet, uh, mesh mesh Wi-Fi. Mesh so, Wi-Fi. So now instead of having one Wi-Fi guy way far away um, in our bedroom, now we have three Wi-Fi guys that are all the same. We've got one right here, and yeah. a good way that he explained it was that he explained it like cell towers. Yeah, that's the, yeah. Exactly. So yeah. if you're walking around the house with your phone, and so we've got one for each floor of the house. And so, um, like, when May is up in her room, she'll be on the upstairs one, but when she walks down to the kitchen, her the phone her phone will move from using that router upstairs to this one right here. And so the internet, our computer, the webcam, the live stream is always going to be because one of the routers is like right here. And so um, the internet is fantastical. Um, the video that I uploaded this morning, it was so much clearer than it usually is. Um, if you've noticed recently that the videos are, <laughs> the more kids yeah. we have, the more internet being used, the blurrier the videos are when yeah. they upload. So, yeah, we try to upload. Elizabeth, <laughs> well, Elizabeth caught that one, that she figured that out, that, that uh, you know, like if the kids are downstairs using the Xbox, and then she tries to upload a video, when you go and rewatch the video, it's always is so much blurrier than, yeah. like, the video she actually caught. Yeah, like what's in my yeah. phone oh, on camera um, is way clearer. But the video that posted today, um, we were really impressed with how the quality came out. Like even the, the font, a lot of times like the font is bleeding into the picture and it's just so messy that it's almost embarrassing. Um, but this internet is, yay, a savior for our country yeah. woes. Yeah. Um, 
Um, but another thing that I wanted to say, and yay, we have this new internet for you guys. I'm so excited. Um, we are on like the eve of um, hitting 5,000 subscribers. And uh, I really wanted to come and just like sit down and take a minute to tell you guys how thankful we are for, um, we always say your support, but it's like just you guys being here, being active on our channel, even just watching the streams. Um, it's a really warm and loving environment, which is what we need because the families that come to us a lot of times are dealing with anxiety and depression, ADHD, autism, um, all kinds of mental health diagnoses. And so, um, you know, participating in the live chat can be a little intimidating and the community is absolutely wonderful. And it's been a really great resource for the families that get puppies from us. Um, you guys have turned it into something that's so much bigger than what we ever intended it to be. Um, in such a really nice way. Um, and it's given, it's a nice way for us to be able to share the dogs and our journey in trying to, trying to raise ESAs and um, educating people about um, responsible breeding and, you know, the future of dogs as pets, um, you know, and the importance of preserving breed, individual breeds. Um, you know, and then, uh, you, no, 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 I mean? thought we learned, oh, I oh. thought we learned, <laughs> well, we got in our mouth. she got a stick, another stick, a little one, but a stick, you little sticker, you should be allergic to sticks now, can I see, um, she said she's uh, frightened now of, of people going into her mouth, but, um, one of the big things that I've noticed that I wanted to point out is that um, Drew and I, when we first started doing this, started raising puppies, um, you know, share with our families kind of what's, you know, what we're up to, what's going on. And, um, you know, their families, they're supportive, but they don't really, they can't quite understand um, what it's really like. You know, they have dogs, they know dogs, um, but having, you know, a pack is a little different. And so the community that we have on our channel that you guys have created um, has really been a nice outlet for us to share what's going on. Um, and you guys, you know the dogs, and so you can you can understand and you can see and appreciate, you know, there's a story we have to share about something. Um, you guys can really understand it a lot better than people in our lives that we're related to could. Um, and so we just wanted to say thank you and to really let you guys know um, just, yeah, how meaningful your support really is. Um, you know, we're, it's just me and him. Yeah. <laughs> we're, you know, the RBC channel is just like a live stream of our house. Yeah. It's not, um, and it's nothing crazy. But it's, um, Hi, it's, sweetie. it's us two, the dogs, and then all of you guys, because we know that, that, like on the chat and on our website that you guys all have uh, like made, you have helped make uh, Red Barn Cavaliers what it is. So, so thank you so much. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys so much. Yeah, Hi. It's like this um, community just couldn't be replicated anywhere else. And um, there's just, there's no other way that we could have had an outlet like this. And it's been really, really nice because there are times like it, it gets hard sometimes when Robin gets sticks stuck or <laughs> Paris has C-section and stuck puppies, things can get really scary. And I know that there have been some streams where Drew and I are stressed and we might say some things that are a little snippy with each other that we might not be like, I know the next day I'll wake up and be like, Oh man, I wish I hadn't said that. On my stream. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, you guys all continue to your understanding. You're supportive. You continue to love us in spite of our <laughs> seeing us in some yeah, bad some moments. Of our, some of our shortcomings. Um, and cause that's, that's part of what was scary about the stream is that you see, you know, it's very hard for us to filter 
um, and only bring out the good snapshots when you guys are just kind of seeing straight through. Yeah, when you're seeing everything. So when something happens and, you know, we're just, there's like, okay, let's yeah. let's meet, let's dig in. Let's handle it, yeah, because this is not like Instagram or Facebook where people get to pick and choose the highlights and it's always the most happy, magical moments. Yeah. Uh, when, when we are live streaming, oh, you guys see yeah. the good, the bad, and the ugly, so... Yeah. Now it was a really like it was difficult <laughs> to even turn the volume on the yeah, audio, the microphone. <laughs> yeah, that, um, was, that was a big step. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big step. <laughs> Come on. You brought her Remy, um, you're so sweet. But I don't know if we could be I don't know if we would still be doing this if we didn't have such a support in you guys because it has yeah. provided such an outlet. You are such a good girl. You are such a girl. Yeah, I think that was one of the, the biggest things that I was worried about, uh, like doing this whole live stream, because as you see, like other live streams, there there could be a lot of hate and okay. ugliness in the comment section and stuff like that. And you guys, you know, comments and, and chats. Um, but you guys have you guys are really awesome. Where if someone comes in and tries to spew hate, you guys all kind of knock them down and say, we don't do that here. So we, we really appreciate you guys. So you got like all of you play a part in that. So yeah. We, appreciate it. we have, I will say that, um, there have been some times where, uh, something as stressful as happening and, um, I'll see somebody comment, like there's a troll or somebody just being snarky. I'll see somebody comment that tells them, you know, to knock it off. And it's somebody that I've never seen their name before. And um, and I, I, I presume that it's a person who, who watches um, like regularly and just doesn't really participate in the live chat. And so it was just really, really um, heartwarming to see somebody kind of come out from the shadows out of their shell to knock the trolls away, yeah. um, even if they don't participate in live chat. And so that was, I think when I saw that, that was when um, I started to see um, just how different I think our community is than most, most, yeah. most live chat communities. Um, yeah. There's a very, very strong sense of like moral People, I think that the people in our community really seem to want to do what's right. There's not a whole lot of like bandwagon jumping and ganging up on people. There isn't really that. And so, um, we just, we are really appreciative and there's not, there are not the words to say and like to give justice to, um, how much you guys really mean to us because like just these words are not sufficient. Um, and that's why I said that like, if we didn't have this community by this point, it would be a lot more difficult to be doing this because um, your, it, your, the community, it provides an outlet. It provides, you know, somebody for us to update and talk about and um, bounce ideas off of. And, um, <laughs> What is going on over there? Why you get a pelvic exam? Everyone is examining Juno. Oh. She be getting going in heat. Ooh. She's almost seven months now. Oh man, yeah, I guess that is a possibility. Just like Smoka. You? What is? She's just. She's a, I missed you. Robin is loving Juno. Yeah. They're good. It's funny because she was so growly when Juno first started. Well, and Juno is almost Robin's size. Yeah. A little bit longer. Not nearly as big, though. No, it's crazy because I would not guess that Pom was her mom. I, I right. Because Macchiato doesn't have long legs. Yeah. Right. Got short legs. Yeah, like, it's like the, the milkman <laughs> made, <laughs> made that made Juno. Tap. Good girl, Hi. Juno. You're being good. You're being a good girl. Yes, you are. Good girl. Good girl, Juno. Hi, Remy Dog. Oh, the kids went back to school today. Yay. Oh. The kids are back to school. Oh, I thought. Oh, 
Um, the day will be a lot easier too when we're putting the kids back on the bus and then turning around and got our stuff to do on the computer and um, we won't have we should not have any more two o'clock starts. We should be going back to like our ten a.m. thing. Yeah, I'm very sorry about yesterday, everybody. That was my fault. Yeah, he promised me. He promised. I said, if I leave, I left the house about 10 o'clock in the morning. And I said, if I leave and go do this, this these errands, will you be able to start the live stream? And I come and I home like, and I'm looking and I was like, oh, the <laughs> computer's not on. Okay, go. Fresh water. You are, why are you so leaky? Why are you so leaky? You're such a good girl. You see, like she's surgically removing pieces little toys. pieces. Yeah. yeah, but she, it's like she thinks everything has an umbilical cord, <laughs> and so she chews all of the little, the little pieces that come off of a toy. So yeah. she won't ruin the toy. Just like so, like if this was, this was plush. Right here. This is plush. She'll just start gnawing these down until they reach, like, until they're flush with the toy. And then she'll be happy with it. She'll leave it alone. She'll put the toy back, let everybody else play with it. Yeah, right now she is. Right now she's working on, like, a corner, but it's because it's, like, sharp and she's trying to smooth. Oh, and what's silly, though, is that she is, like, she licks it, licks it, licks it, and it softens it up and then gnaws <laughs> She's on very it. methodical. Yeah, she is. She's getting it moistened yes. for. A slicker, dog. more surgical. Oh, Aww, you guys are so nice. Sweet. You guys, this other thing is, um, we also, whenever we'd start the live stream, I had to go through and like make sure everything was shot back and swept, and I was crazy about it, and oh. like it was really burning me down, <laughs> and um. Now we can go like every other day and um, you guys are so wonderful. Um, I will let myself give myself a little bit of a break and I'll, you know, sweep through here. Um, like every other day, I think every other morning, it'll kind of like today's our off day, but it was, um, I would go through and just shot back everything and it would wear me out. And then the stream wouldn't get started until noon. And, um, there she goes. She got all the stuffing. She's going to ruin this toy, I guess. <laughs> I hope she doesn't have a baby and then start um, ripping it up like a toy. Um, but you guys are all so wonderful. You, you've seen um, you've seen our house when it's really picked up. You've seen our house during the Christmas mess <laughs> and um, pretty much everything in between. So what's one day without sweeping, huh? Right, Remy? You're such good doggies. Hi! Hi! Oh, you, what do I do? Burps. I know you burped my face. Oh, sweeping is bothering me though. The tray needs to be changed. The tray's okay. Usually, when the tra if the tray needs to be changed, the pellet, like the shavings, will be everywhere. Oh, that one needs to be changed. That's what's going on. That's why we have so many pellets. Daisy has a toy. That's weird. Is Daisy starting to lighten up? You're such a good girl. You are such a good girl. Hmm, I wonder if Robin getting a stick stuck has anything to do with how she's been in the trash a lot. You gotta change the tray. You're such a good girl. <laughs> you see, you are so funny. Hi, Remy. Who's a good Remy dog? You are so full of love. Yes, you are. Oh, 
We love this bed. This bed was sent to us from Patty, and we absolutely love it. I feel like we've been we've had this wrong for so long by putting like we used to have a, it was, the bed was over where that pie tree is, and we didn't put anything in the spot for a while. And having this bigger bed as opposed to like two smaller beds is really nice because they like to pile on each other and um, having two beds, they can't really pile on each other like they want to. Oh, Paris, Bears, we have a little plush cavalier that has survived a lot of rounds of puppies. Borrow it for a second. Here's our plush cavalier. We've had this since we got Missy. So, um, you know, it's not very old, but it's been through a lot of dogs. It's seen a lot of dogs. Um, so its eyes are gone, its nose is gone, but it still has its ears. It lost its tail. It still has its ears. <laughs> it's a little blem, a little blenum cavalier plush. Let's see if they can share. No, it doesn't look like it. They were so sleepy, and then they all started one by one pulling out toys. Bye. 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 Yeah, then this down so it's not so much like light. No windows. Oh, and I'm just going to throw this out there while we're on the, um, the vein of um, 5,000 subscribers and a wonderful community. Um, we've had some um, community members and puppy families talk about or suggesting um, like some sort of meetup to arrange some sort of get together. Um, and so I just wanted to mention it on here that um, Drew and I are very open to that. Um, it's really more about scheduling and logistics. And so um, I just wanted to throw that out there um, to anybody who might be interested in. Um, if anybody is like super, like loves to plan and would like to plan it, you may um, take the bull by the horns and start planning if you if you are a planner and you would like to do that. Um, but that is something that we kind of have like on the back burner um, in mind to do. Not necessarily, like not something that we would do this summer. Um, that would be too soon. But um, I imagine it would be like maybe next summer or um, by sometime like that year or later. Um, but we hadn't really gotten very far in our ideas other than just to, um, try to find a date that as many people would be able to, um, come as could, many, at least those who want to come. So, um, if anybody else is interested in, we've, um, I should start getting names so we can keep track of who wants to do that. So I'll start doing that so we can see, um, starting a better picture of um, what we would do, but it would be, I think it'd be a lot of fun to be able to meet up and meet everybody's dogs. I would love to meet Biscuit. I have learned. I feel like I've learned everything about Nisho's Biscuit and to be able to see Biscuit in person would be awesome. It would be so awesome to meet all these dogs we've gotten to know. Right? You're such a good girl. You know. Hi, Robin. Are you giving me a belly rub? The girl passing sticks. Are you taking the other ear? Oh, no. It's funny, they took off the Cavalier's tail, but they didn't take the ears, Drew. Sorry, I'm sorry, say that again? They chewed off the eyes, the, the eyes and the nose and the tail. They're leaving the ears alone. Uh, 
dogs. And the tag. And the tag. Oh, goodness, Daisy.
I'm curious if I guess I would have gotten the same reaction like five years ago, or if this is just, you know. I wonder. Uh, Wait, hold on. Let me hold on.
I think that that was the fun with the delivery. so good about the trade. She's a little trade master. Um, I just wanted to mention real quickly to Lisa and Valerie, to Piper's mom and Clover's mom. I am so sorry. You guys are having some potty troubles. Oh, no. um, I wanted to mention to you guys that um, what I'm, what you guys are describing sounds familiar. Um, that is something that we actually, we've dealt with in the past where they, they will, um, stop using it and what Valerie what you described with um what you described about Clover going in the tray and like giving her time and then she steps out and then pees um I can't remember which dog it is but we went through that with um one of them um where it was like the tray only the tray was available to pee in and it was like she looked for the spot that was not a tray and then only peed there. Um, and then we also had a similar issue about um, where um, there were like certain spots. Um, Valerie, I think you mentioned um, about there being like must be like weird spots that smell good to them um, because they insist on the same spots. And um, we've seen that too um, down in the basement actually where. Uh, um, we have not replaced carpet from the first owners or the last owners of the house. Um, and so one thing I wanted to recommend is um, if you haven't heard of it, I would strongly recommend investing in a product called Nature's Miracle. Um, it's, I think it might be the only like cleaning solution that is, um, that does what it does, but it actually gets down into your carpet and it neutralizes all of the, um, the, um, the, oh, what's the word? Um, enzymes. It neutralizes the, the enzymes in the um, urine that makes it smell. And so what I do whenever our dogs have accidents, um, I will just like, I'll, we will like make a, a mixture so that it's not a hundred percent solution but we'll mix it with about like half and half. So half water, half of the solution. And I'll just kind of gently like dump it into there to let it like soak in um, and then suck it up. But it works really, really, really well with eliminating the, it just completely cuts the urine odor um, because Harris, stop chewing on that. That's not a chew toy. Here, where's your little bone? There you go. There you go. Um, um, 
but what I wanted to, a couple things I wanted to mention. Um, one is that um, I noticed too that a lot of times when they have trouble with a pee, they will continue to use it really well for poop. I don't know why that is, um, but for our dogs, they went through these phases where um, they just stopped, they, I thought they stop using the tray. Um, it's like they just they get weird about it for some reason. Um, but it passed. Um, there was not anything we ever like changed or did. It was more like a phase. And um, I mean, we tried all kinds of things where we would shrink down the area that they have with the tray. And um, you know, if you're having like more simple potty training issues where it's more like just a potty training thing, then our our recommendation usually is to shrink down their available area they have access to so that when you put them down, you know, their smallest spot they've ever had is their pen. And so like the kitchen could be considered like a very large puppy pen um, where they have their tray, their water, their food, they have everything they need. Um, but whenever your puppy is having trouble with getting back to the tray, I always recommend shrinking down the size of what they have access to. Um, but um, when they're doing what you mentioned to Valerie, where they just they go into the tray and then they get out to go potty, I know how frustrating that is. I am so sorry you're going through that. It is so frustrating. Um, I, can, I can really appreciate <laughs> how difficult it is because it is. It's, it, I, yeah, I know. I, I get it. Um, I'm so sorry. Um, but I wanted to make sure you know that it will pass um, Clover is really, really good at going potty outside. Um, and so if she'll go potty outside for you, it might also be a good time to, um, work on pottying outside. Sometimes when puppies go through this, it kind of provides an, a, a path to learning to go outside more regularly. Um, I saw that Sue also mentioned Audrey going through something similar and it sounds like Audrey did kind of what ours did where she kind of like went through a phase and, um, and now she kind of like uses both. Um, but I wanted to jump in here and let you know that you're not alone. Um, we've seen that happen before. Um, it's, it's nothing you did. Um, I think it's just because it's happened to us just within our house, just as the dogs grow older. Um, and so it's nothing you did. It's not even transitioning to your house. This is just like, a, it is a developmental phase. Um, if you remember when, when your children were young, when they were like sleeping through the night and then they regress and stop sleeping through the night, um, I liken it to kind of like something like that where, um, their brains are still developing, um, and they're still learning and still, um, growing, but things shift, um, you know, as they're growing up in Clover, Clover is four months old now, almost four months. Um, Oh, three months. She just turned three months. Um, and so, yeah, and that's, she's also pretty young still. So um, I'm trying to think of, I will text you uh, more ideas as they come to me for what we've done. It's kind of hard to think off the top of my head just because we usually kind of figure it out in the moment as we go. So I'll talk to Drew and try to remember um, some of the tricks we, we tried. Um, so I was thinking back to when we've had dogs that do that. <laughs> where they, you you know when they just like stop using the tray, like where they will put them in the tray and they'll sniff around and actively refuse to use it and then get out and then potty. And was, am I remembering it correctly when I say that I feel like it was a phase and not something that we were able to fix necessarily? Yeah, I feel like that there was a like phase where we could do it. that. Um, and really, like, what, what ends up working is, I mean, if you still keep the pen set up going and you put them into it in the pen, uh, like kind of still instill it that will instill in them like needing to use the potty tray because uh the pen is like their area um 
but then also uh, like just putting them, if you can, putting them outside more often. But yeah, that's, I do remember it always being a phase in, like we're kind of going through that now where- Yeah, Mocha. With mocha <laughs> and- uh, I kind of forgot about that. We yeah. actually just started experiencing that with Mocha. Yeah. Where she, hey, stop that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, I just don't want Paris. For Goodness me. sakes. No, no, Mocha Juno. or Juno. Where's this? this girl? Um, yeah, where it's like a phase where they have this, uh, like, I don't want to do this sort of like, It's really stubborn. Like, yeah. they're so stubborn about it. Yeah. This is so frustrating. And then it feels like all of a sudden at like a year or 18 months old, then they're like, okay, I like, I will go potty outside. I won't have accidents. I mean, I know that we have, we still have accidents in here right now. And You're then, just so, like a year, yeah. 18 months old and Valerie's over here like, right. Clover's only three months. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's not that long. Yeah. If it, if it's starting earlier, then you'll probably get through it earlier. It's not that it's going to last that is for true. forever. Yeah. Um, that is very true. But I want to make sure you know that it has nothing to do with you or the change or any of that because um, we go through it with our dogs here. Um, I think what Vienna, Vienna, what is most frustrating is like having it right there available for them to use. And then they just actively will actively avoid it. Um, but if, if she's being that, like that stubborn, um, you could try, um, instead of just trying to force her to use the tray, you could just try putting her on a potty schedule outside. So like, um, when, um, she was still here. We made a point to always take the puppies outside first thing in the morning so that they knew when they woke up after the long night that they go outside and they potty. And that's what they do. Um, you know, every single day, it's not going to change no matter where they're living. And so um, we try to get them into that habit. And so she should not she should know pretty well, like, go outside in the morning, go potty um, and poop. She was really good about potty and poop. Um, and then um, she's three months old. And so the rule of thumb, um, we show this with our fans on pickup day, but um, uh, the rule of thumb for um, puppies holding their bladders is that they can comfortably hold their potty for about, so they can hold it for about one hour per ev for every one month of age. So if Clover is three months old, she can comfortably hold her potty for about three hours. Um, we usually don't recommend waiting that long to like see if they need to go potty, especially if you're traveling. Um, but it kind of just helps, you know, you, I wouldn't wait the whole three hours. You know, you don't want an accident to happen. You want to get to them before they have an accident. But when you take them out and see, you know, how much they go or how long it takes them to go, you can kind of start gauging about how long your particular dog can hold their, their potty. Um, Vienna, for example, she only potties like three times a day and it drives us crazy because, um, if she's done pottying for the day and Bella's going to bed and it's time for bed, she will refuse to potty. Even if you put her outside, even if we walk her outside, she just refuses to go. And so Vienna, she, she's like, she's our smallest little cavalier, but she will hold her potty for as long as she can. Um, it drives us crazy. But you'll start, you'll get to start knowing how she can and chooses to, um, for how long she's comfortable hold, holding her bladder. Um, some dogs just drink a lot of water and have a lot more pee and will go more frequently. Um, and so you just want to um, just back up that length of time, that three hour time frame, just so that you're not tempting accidents. Um, and then you can just gauge from there. But so if you were to take her out at seven o'clock in the morning when she wakes up, um, what I would recommend is you feed her after, after she goes potty, bring her in, you feed her, and then put her back outside so that she can poop and all that stuff, and then bring her back in. And so if it's like, you know, eight, seven thirty by that point, um, you could time the next potty for um, like 10 o'clock. And so that would be two and a half hours later. And then, so if she went outside to potty and poop after eating at 7.30, you could take her back out at 10 or 10 o'clock um, to have a bathroom break, 
bring her back in and then, you know, 1230 or so another bathroom break. Um, and just until dinner time, same thing with the dinner time. Um, another thing that we, we do, um, just a, a habit that we have the dogs in, um, while we're potty training them is, uh, whenever we put them into their pen or whatever, wherever they're enclosed spaces with all their things, their bed, their tray, their water. Um, we always put them back in directly into the tray. And so we make it so that every time they leave the pen or go back into the pen, they're hitting the tray first. And so if they're leaving the pen, they potty break and then they get to come out. So they're going back to the pen, they got a potty break and then they get to go in. Um, and so that's just to help the, like the mental, um, it's to help kind of put them on a bit of a schedule so that, um, they know they start learning that whenever they are entering their pen or their, you know, their area to relax, that they got to hit the bathroom first. And so as they get into the habit, they, they will start doing it on their own when they just, they'll, you can eventually just put them in the pen and they'll go over to the tray and go potty and then relax. Um, but it's nice to, if you have that habit established, it's helpful then when you need to move things around or if you're having some kind of issue, if, she has that established that whenever she goes into the pen, she goes potty. And whenever she comes out, she goes potty. Um, and you can also mix that up with going outside. So if you've been playing and doing all kinds of fun stuff, and now she's going to lay down for a nap, potty her outside real quick, and then put her down to in her, in her pen. Um, and so it's, it's not specific to Trey, I guess is what I'm saying. It's more about, um, about, training their brains on when to potty. And so it can be outside, it can be in the tray. It's more about, um, it's more about bathroom break. Just having a little alarm in their head to go off, letting them know it's time for bathroom break before you get cozy and comfortable and go to sleep. We, we need to undo the bladder. So um, uh, when the puppies are, when they're turning eight weeks old and getting ready to go home, um, by that time they're usually they have that habit down pretty well. Um, but I mean, it's been a while since, since we've had Clover. So I don't know if she would really remember, but I would think that if you started doing that again, that she'd probably pick it up pretty quickly. Um, Charlotte probably would still remember. Um, but again, like the stubborn stuff, when they're being stubborn, when they're just refusing to use the tray just to be stubborn, that's a little different. And I am, I just, I really sympathize because I know how frustrating it is. And it's like, what do you, what do you do? <laughs> you know, you can't, you can't make her do exactly what you want her to do. Um, and so I just want to let you know, it's going, it will get better. It's going to get better. Um, I strongly recommend the nature's miracle to have that on hand for any accidents in the meantime. Um, it's a little pricey, um, but you can get it into in like the gallon. And I think it's like $26 for the gallon. Um, but it's pricey because it works. Um, when I was growing up, my parents used like the resolve resolve pet. I think now they have the resolve pet. Um, and that just smelled like cleaning material mixed with pee is what that smelled like. Um, the nature's miracle. When you use the nature's nature's miracle, it just, it has a pleasant smell to it, and when it once it touches the urine, the it just completely it just goes away, and then you just smell the nature of miracle. So it's really awesome. We love it. Why are your eyes draining, huh? There we go. Well, Paris Pom Pom and Vienna. All snuggle together. We just need Spike. If Tom and Paris had their puppies with Spike. That would be a really nice one photo. Or Ranger, sweetie.
Got it. Got it. We have sticker burrs everywhere outside, and so the dogs get into them and they get all over them. Juno, stop chewing up our cabinets.
Oh, 
Sending her pheromones that way. So it's not that we can see. Uh, no, it's just that she goes over there and they start going crazy. Uh, uh, I was wondering if oh, it was. Maybe they see Juno too. I was wondering if it was. Yeah, they see Juno and they see. Oh, you know what? I bet she, they see Juno. She's a girl. And Juno. <gasps> oh, and they're afraid that Juno is going to get yep. pom pom. Yeah. Oh, oh silly little boys. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that. Do you think Zofran would help anxiety induced nausea? <laughs> Absolutely. You think it would? Well, I guess it just speeds up the process, doesn't it? Probably not that. Well, I don't know, because it, like, it works in your brain, unlike the nausea substances. So sure oh, I thought, see, I thought that Zofran sped up the system so that it got it out faster. Oh, no, well, no, then, it away. It's well, then if, it, yeah, if it's triggering the yeah, but then my point though is like, um,
yeah. when you're doing something like that you like and then just forgot about it. Hello, Doggy Doggies. Thank you, now. How are you? Tommy, where are you? Let me see. Wait.
Komm mal, der Alpha. A tiny, tiny bit left. Okay, can I swap it? I would probably just swap it. I mean, you can hang on to it and see if like, you can get some out of it. Like, so compare. Mom, can I have a soda? In, like, feel the difference so you can see. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Dad. Uh, this is like the third time this has happened, so maybe not leave um, giant Yeti cups full of water. Oh, oh. Because they get knocked over and the water goes everywhere. Oh my gosh. I'll get over here. Can I have a soda? I'm looking at it. Uh, but it spills a ton of water. Oh, 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 oh. What soda do you have? Um, go ahead and grab a soda. Do you need to open it? I'm, uh, I'll open it. I will open it. Okay! You guys don't need to pick her up. She's like, like I will open it. Did she say that? Did she say that? Excited because she can Uh, we will. Uh, we No, 
in your basket along with your other stuff. And so for one of them, I picked you um, another type of sink. What is the sink? Another type of sink. So it's kind of like your it does the very same thing, except it's got more shelving and baskets and way it goes. Now I thought you could stand right next to each other. And me and Riley can both play. Yeah. But I want to be with the one with more shelving. <laughs> more baskets. Yeah. Well, what's cool is this other one that hangs the baskets off the sides instead of into the sink. Hangs the baskets out. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Oh, well, you can have that. I'm across. This? Yeah. Yeah. This. Oh, I didn't open it. Oh, you didn't? Yeah, my straw. My straw. Um, yes, adults are allowed to play MetaQuest. <laughs> you still owe me more than my 10 second turn I got on the MetaQuest. <laughs> yeah, you should let mom try it out. I would be perfectly happy just watching. Just let, her, let her do the, the shoot in the fucky. Yeah. Shoot the fucky guys? Oh, first experience? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, first, first encounter. Jinx! You owe me a soda. Okay. 
See what he can do is put his mom and get you to come home with a piece of soda. <laughs> Dad, Dad, you have to get me a case of soda now. I don't know if he has to do that because he's got already gotten you lots of cases of soda. No, he hasn't. No, why do you keep on refilling my rug? Because she's nice. Uh, Here, use that, brother. Oh, no, don't use them. Right. Here. Um, white white. White white Bradley. White white. Hey, this is the easel for the little the guys. The, for the elves. Oh, the elves. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, guys. What happened to the camera? Oh, we're out of the top Which is better, Pepsi or Coke? Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, Dad, do you know? Oh, perfect. Oh. Hi, 
Bye. If Bradley wants to sleep with one of the dogs, we should give him my rose. She's, I think she would be a real good. Myra, he, Myra, oh. She's such a uh, good dog. Myra, uh, uh. <laughs> Look at this beautiful. I know, she's such a good girl. And she's so, she always looks so pretty when she's in heat. I know. Look at how her fur is, fur is awesome. gorgeous. It's like, it's coming down low. It's giving her it's like, like hugging this, her hips. Yeah, it's giving her this body. It's it's like shaping her waist yeah. and oh, you're, accentuating everything. You are so beautiful. Yes, you are. You got all those hormones flowing. That's why you keep pushing your butt up against the door. <laughs> Get it as close to those boys okay. as possible. That, did, have you noticed that there's like a crack where the previous owner's dogs like scraped the weather ceiling on oh, the door. Yeah, yeah. And so you can kind of see the daylight. And so I'm always curious if she's like sticking her butt. Three snips. Get that snuff. Good boy. Yeah, yeah. What happened? Oh, it's like a snap off. Oh, isn't that from when it fell over on it? No. It was fine this morning. I don't know. I saw it that way and I brought it here to get it um, away from the. I think it's okay though. It stinks because. Yeah, all that growth. My plant. Could be a bit like the plant. It's too heavy. Um. Oh, wait. Oh, that would be perfect. Yeah, I've got to get some potting soil now. Soil. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if you could plant that. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, like stick it in the dirt. Yeah, just stick it in the dirt next to us. Maybe with a little bit of water. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Brad? Well, that's not good to hear after you just upgrade the internet. <laughs> but it's because you don't. Did you sign it into the new internet? <laughs>
Oh, okay, Bella, no more jokes. I'm full. Full? Good. Hey Bradley, what'd you do with those over there?
fun of my, my raccoon hair, Bradley. Dad's the salt and pepper. I find very handsome. Help. You see this? Oh, that looks a little... Uh, yeah. So it was in the bottom of that box over there, which was downstairs. Oh, the basement. Found it? Yes. Oh, no. It's long gone. Okay. Was in a box that I just carried upstairs. Stop saying that, Bradley. <laughs> Worse and worse. <laughs> <laughs> you owe your mom an son. Yeah, but if you're both sitting down and with it over your lap, you're not. 
What's up here, Bella? Where, where is he? In the kitchen? Dad? She has a big bed? Dad. Oh, that's it. What's up, baby girl? 
Wow, it's not warm enough to be writing your thing today, baby girl. Please, I want to take these out. I, oh, you want to charge those up in the sun? Uh, it's a little. It, it's not bright enough for that, baby. It's oh. gonna be. We gotta do it. Let's do it on Saturday and Sunday. Like, oh. Hey! No, 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 no. Let me like, only one. Only one. Only one. Be sure you're sitting on the couch. Where everybody's laughed, but it was not oh. going well when we were all sitting on the couch. Oh, you can grab the other one. Oh, yeah, you do. Well, the other one makes you warm. This one makes well, you warm, too. I was going to say, Belle, if you're not going to use it, I'm going to use it. There's a heater right here. Yeah. There's, there are the whole thing is Hey, Elizabeth. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Come here for a second. Sure. Hey, Bella, look. I'm in here. I'm in the better stuff. I'm in the better stuff. Oh, it's not a competition. Bella, it's not a competition. Oh. I love trying to mock you. Uh, oh, Paris, you're so cute. She can't quite fit on the bed, and so she's like sitting off the bed, but it has her paws over Mom. the edge. Oh. oh, you're not eating it? You don't want it? I want it. That was a waste. Oh, no. That's right. You're dead. I look like the queen. I look you not like it, really? Mom. Well, it's that looks like the queen. It's like it's a little more burnt than it's supposed to be. Daisy, what are you eating? Mom, look. Do I look like the queen? No. No. Do you need some help, Bella? Yeah, you gotta get your car and bring it up, sweetie pie. Oh, and hey, Bradley. Is there a certain way to take this off? The battery? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, press the, you got it. Hey, Bradley, where's your car? I got mine. Come on, sir. You like it more. I do it like it more. Dad, you like me out. Look, no. 
好，好，很安全，来哦。
Your thing, you know. Thank you. Hello, Juno. You know. Hello, girl. Yeah, here's a girl. Hi. Hi, doggy.
girl do you know? Who's a good girl? Thank you. 
We have all six now. I could go up.
small bowl. Oh, Mousy's chair. Wow, I haven't seen that up close in a while. It still rolls so smooth. Like, that's what freaked me out was when I started, like, pushing it. It was just like, like it's... Do I explain the live stream? Why is that out? I ended up crying. <laughs> Do you want me to move the bed? I think it'd be nice to explain it to the live stream. Robin! Are you playing well? Sorry. 
Yeah, they, it's funny, like, I was thinking about it. I don't think they have really, the dogs are really seen it that much. Sorry. Bella, your shirt can't have a question. No, I don't know. No, she's usually sitting in this. I think I can't Mousie's usually sitting in there. Mousie likes to sit in there. I think I can't stand it. It's for smaller kids, sweetie. It was for a little two year old, sweetie. I forgot how small it was. Yeah, right now it's. You want your cereal, Bella? When yeah. when I was younger, it looked so much bigger than me. Well, it was raised up for yeah, a little. Pyro. Yeah, I know. Girl. Wipe it down. It's very dusty. It's dark brown. All right, Bobo. Should we Sorry. explain it to us? Mom, that's a big bowl. Oh. So this. This is uh, Matthew's chair. When, like, if you ever hear us talking about Matthew uh, lounging in his chair, uh, this is what we're talking about. Um, we were very, we were, we, we were really blessed where a um, another family gifted us uh, the frame. And the frame came with a seat and everything, um, but uh, the girl that uh, had it originally had outgrown it, and they were very, very kind and donated everything to us. But the only issue was that the seat that it came with was more for a child that could could hold themselves up, and um, shortly after we received. 
um, the frame and the, the original chair and everything, Matthew was uh, prescribed uh, this brown guy, and it had a like a, a really small wooden frame that it sat in um, that was only about yay high, and it had some wheels that you could wheel it around on, but it was really small and kind of um, not very sturdy. And so I ended up um, taking all of the portions of the seat off of it and leaving just kind of like the skeleton and then strapping um, this thing down because Matthew were really... Was chair originally? What's that? What was this chair originally, the brown one? This one is called like a uh, little tomato. And it oh, was, it was a feeding chair. Yeah, it was a feeding chair. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's why because you could you could adjust it and on that little base. Yeah, on that little base, and um, but Matthew enjoyed the seat so much because he could just lean back in it, and you didn't really have to worry about him rolling rolling out of it or anything like that. And so he spent a lot of time in this chair, um, just because it was the most comfortable spot for him. Uh, besides the floor, <laughs> he, he he loved laying on the floor. Um, but you remember when we first brought his his real wheelchair home? Oh my! And we gosh. pulled him out of his wheelchair mm -hmm. or out of this, put him in his wheelchair, sure. and then he rolled himself all the way back to this chair. Yeah. So that was yeah, that was one thing that was just because <laughs> I shouldn't say it was changed, but he was. He was so used to this, and he loved this chair. He knew this chair, like... It was probably the most constant thing in his life. Yeah, it really was. Besides us as a family, like, this this item, this this uh, inanimate object, um, he was so attached to it that when we got his, his wheelchair, his, like, real wheelchair, that was meant for him um, and, you know, all of his uh, his handicaps... We put him in it, and when we put him in it, he started yelling, and we could see he would like look at us, and then he would look at this chair, and it was uh, like we knew like what he was getting at was that he wanted to be put back into into this chair. So well, we didn't even realize it until we decided to just pull him out of the wheelchair because he was so unhappy. Yeah, and he was so, so we laid him on the floor. That's and right. He that's, yeah, started scooting over to the brown chair. Yeah, that's right. We we put him because uh, he was so upset when he was in his wheelchair. We put him down on the ground because we like, oh, well, maybe he wants to lay down since he's been sitting for so long. For so long, but then he rolled himself over because he could like. <laughs> I mean, he could kind of wiggle and, <laughs> and, scoot. and scoot and shimmy himself over, and he eventually got himself over here and was, like, flopping his arm on the... <laughs> oh, that was... Remember when oh, he would put his leg over that, and yeah. he, would, he, would, he would reach yeah. for Bella? Yeah, yeah he, the, there was, uh, shortly after Bella was born, uh, he was sitting in his chair, and he would always do this thing where he would he would move his legs around and like make himself comfortable. And so there was one time where he had his leg here, and he kicked his leg over, and he was like reaching his leg over to try and like play with Bella. And so, oh man, she was like six months old, oh, yeah, and she, she learned how he would use his feet like hands. Yeah. And so we started. A, it was running joke about them holding feet because yeah. Bella, being six months old, she picked up on that, and so she would touch her feet to his, to feet, his feet, and they would yeah. like play footsie yeah. at the dinner table when we'd be having dinner. Yeah. He always had his leg over the yep. knee, over that right side. He always been, he often you know? had both legs over each side. Yeah. yeah. Sweet boy, oh. sweet, sweet Matthew boy. It's been, man, uh, like our... I haven't seen, like, I haven't looked at, like, the wheels of that. I know. And, like, the, the coat closet. It's has, one thing to, like, see part of it, mm -hmm. but to actually have it out. I, yeah, that's, I think that, like, yeah. it, there was, we had stuff on yeah. and around it, and so it was blocked, and, because we, we had it in the pantry, because uh, there really wasn't a, another good spot to put it, because the... Oh, my gosh, Daisy. Daisy the coat closet was so full of stuff, and now that I've cleaned out the coat closet, we can actually put it back there, and it's, I think it's a better spot than in the pantry. But we did, for a while, have it uh, in the corner, and that was um, 
Just remember the. We should put it back in there and see if we can get the catch the thing. In there again. Yeah, that was. Um, so <laughs> shortly after Matthew was born, there was a a filter on. Was it Instagram filter? Snapchat. Or Snapchat filter. Oh yeah, yeah. it was a TikTok filter. Yeah, oh, it was TikTok. Okay, so, but um, it was this thing where it would like. You would start the filter, and if you were standing in the middle of the frame and you moved, there would be like a, a rainbow shadow of yourself would follow behind you. And so, but there was a lot of uh, people saying that it was sensing uh, spirits. And so we brought it over to Matthew's chair and or someone's phone, and then we were. Uh, you know, taking a video of it using that TikTok filter, and sure enough, the whole thing started lighting up like. Well, not even like the whole thing, but like you could make out legs. Yeah, like that was what that was, was wild. Yeah, was, was the legs in the arms. Yeah, yeah. there was there was like something in the in this See, chair. There's two yeah. legs hanging out. And what was and yeah, what was weird was like if you took the phone and you scanned over to like our buffet or our. Uh, the dining room the, table. The dining room table. You get nothing. There would be no feedback. That that sort of shadow, that that rainbow shadow thing going. But as soon as you scanned over to this, you would see the rainbow shadow uh, movement. It was man, that was that was crazy. I think I saw the video of that. Yeah, I think we do. And that's that was. You should the, try it again. See if it still. See if it still does anything. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. But the uh, I don't think that uh, besides his. Uh, his snow globe, like we've had some pretty, oh, yeah. we've had some pretty crazy Ooh, paranormal Bella's, stuff. Bella's monitor. Oh, yeah, oh that monitor. was a big that one. one. Oh yeah, my that gosh, was that one was definitely weird. Matthew's we have all sorts of very nearby. Yeah, we have all sorts of crazy paranormal stuff with Mouse Man. We could probably make a YouTube channel. <laughs> probably could. Yeah, yeah. We, we probably could. Matthews. Matthews paranormal activity. Yeah, exactly. Of our Cavaliers. But, yeah. <laughs> Well, I I brought this thing out and it was just sitting there, and the dogs were like, Burr. "Robin was freaking out." Yeah. Remember when? Remember when you guys had to take the snow globe away from us? Oh, yeah, because everyone was going crazy. Yeah, because But it was because it was cool. Ran yeah. for like seven minutes. Yeah. That's yeah, what... and what always intrigued me about it is that uh, we knew he played it because. It didn't have the music. Yeah, it, was, it normally it does. Was, I said it, it was playing yeah. in a way that you could not make it play. Yeah, you cannot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's what was always really strange. It's like it was one of those the silence is deafening sort of yeah. moments where there's yeah. no music and all you can hear is the snow going all you around hear is, and yeah, the music is supposed to be there. Yeah, yeah Matthew. I'm, I'm sure we've told this story, but Matthew <laughs> had a snow globe that he used to play with that he would love, and it was like. Um, it was activated by just pushing a button, but it had a switch on the back that was like demo off and then on. And when you had it in off, it would still work after Matthew passed away. And like it oh, would work on its own. Batteries. Yeah, I think it had batteries in it, but it was just. You know, there was one time where it didn't have batteries and you had, and you had it and you showed me. Uh, and then you told mom look at it. I don't remember that. But. I would not. I would not doubt it. I would not doubt it. I don't recall it, but I would not doubt it. Okay. He's all. Clean. All right, now see. You got a nice clean chair again. Yeah, but uh, sorry, sweetie. You're just a little bit too big for this now. You. You. I would just test. No, no testing. But then let's see. How did you raise? I do hope Matthew got a kick out of step. Oh, oh yeah. Try out his chair. There, that's oh, there. Oh, yeah, that yeah. is that, that brings me back. Yeah, oh, that's a little bit too high, I think. Because, because, we, because we would bring him over here and, like, oh, yeah, yeah raise it up, raise up, but it was like his legs couldn't fit underneath there, so we would just bring it down just a smidge, and that was probably right about there. That was where that was, no, you're too big for it, though. Yeah, I remember because it was bigger than me. So what so I saw sweet. down there is confused. Or remember, like, he, if you didn't have a lot, he would kick he himself. Would kick it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, but yeah. we would bring I do. No, no, go, Bella. Go, baby. What's what up? was it he did with the stove? He played with the knobs. Oh, he would, that's right. We'd bring him over here and we'd lock it for him, and he would just like, oh, we were joking about letting our kid play with the stove. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, Okay, but I'm gonna go. Remember his little nose thing? So when we were trying to teach him how to 
Oh, is uh, it a dot? Yeah, to yeah. communicate like, with the iPad. My, the, yeah, with the device. Oh, my, oh, my, my, remember how he picked it up a little bit? Yeah. The, the, the hide so and come know? back thing? No. Oh, is this my one? No, this, yeah. this was Matthew's. This was Matthew's uh, hangout chair. This is what, this is what Matthew said. We have pictures of you playing with Matthew, Matthew while he was sitting in it. We do, Bella. Yeah. All right, watch out, baby girl. I'm going to go and put it back in the... His chair, Bella, it's kind of like your bed plus your chair at school plus your favorite couch Man. plus our bed all rolled into one. How many times did he sleep in this thing? He slept in there a lot. Yeah. He one million times. often just fall asleep and we didn't... Yeah. Remember how mesmerized he was by glow sticks? Yeah. That was his thing. That's so good. Um, that's You turned your Halloween candy into like bitty candy that you were eating as snacks at night. And I've got Dad, Bella wants to know where her Halloween candy is. Gone, I've got Bella. six pieces of Halloween candy left. Leave it to me to still have Halloween candy left over in 2024. <laughs> I love you. I don't want to just eat it right then and there because then you just want to save it for when it's old. <laughs> no, no, no. I save it because because uh, like there will be times when Mom, I can jump up on your guys' bed. No, you can't jump on our bed. What? Thank you for asking, though. I appreciate you asking. Please, you can't jump on our bed. There will be times when uh, find something else to do. You can I mean, watch your I iPad on our bed and. I like want a snack or something, but then, but then I think of chocolate, and then that's all I want, and then, and sometimes we don't have that, and so I, I save it until I have moments where I crave it. Yeah, I mean, that's a good thing. I'm saving over time. I, I well, am I completely with you on conserving as much as you can. I'm just not good at it. <laughs> I just usually choose. Dad gave me his M and M's because he doesn't like them. I thought he loved them. You gave away M and M's. Those are good for ice cream. <laughs> Dad just likes me. That's good. That's good. He likes me. Yeah. I hope he doesn't not like me. But he gave me his M and M's, so. I was gonna say he chose two out of everybody. It's tickles. Is that tickle? Hey Dad, come here, come here. Let me show you. I ate the the M and M's from the Gogurt last night. Yeah, and uh, I showed him that. Um, Does it feel good? It's supposed to feel good. It's too tickly. It's 
It's just a tickly spot. It's a tickly spot. <laughs> You're coming back for more. I've got so many straws. <laughs> Come in here and show Dad this. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Dad, you need to watch.
Hey, are you up here? I'm down here. I'm down here, Dad. Hey, look at the camera. Huh? Nothing, never mind.
in the house.
Hey kids! Did you see it before she moved? Yeah, I saw her. Back. The dog's on my face. You guys are so silly.
I'm so tired. Where's my clothes? Uh huh? Hey, Elizabeth. Do you want a uh, grilled cheese sandwich? Huh? 
Hai bala-bala. What? Here, baby, I'll give you your sandwich. No, my toy doesn't show like eating it. Oh, uh, it will show you. Okay. Yeah. Look. Do you think? Do you think I should? Do you think this is a good length, or if I should order it? I was just wondering because I think it's a good length. And I know you wouldn't be like, oh, it needs to be longer. No, it looks like it's made for now longer. I, I would not go longer than that person. Oh, I mean, personally, this is good. You're not even going that long. What's that? You're not even I, that I know. I'm, I'm, that's why I kind of stopped myself. Oh, just say, does that sound good? Here, Bob's. Bella, do you want some chips, sweetie? Yeah, baby. 
Paris, warm little doggy. Paris would be so pretty if we like had like a full blown like shampoo and groom done on her. Her fur would be so beautiful. Yeah. Hmm. Right. 
I was refusing to eat her sandwich. What? I was refusing to eat. Oh. Oh, I can't sleep with this. Okay. I 
something I forgot to tell you, Mom. I left my gum by Mom. Sucks. No, no, no. It was just, it was happy today. Oh, uh, would you like some toast and jam? Not healthy enough. Not healthy enough. Okay. What about carrots? Vienna.
I have no clue how she's still She loves those cards. No, come here, Daisy. Come here. Honest that you don't like this idea. Oh, baby. Daisy, come here. I'll pet you, Daisy. Come here.
Daisy, where did it? Come on, Daisy. Come on, Daisy. No, Daisy. Come here, Daisy. Daisy, come on. Come on, cheeks in there. Oh, my. 
Oh, I'll show it to you later. Like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's wrong, Bella? You're alone. Oh, dog. Do the boys need to go outside, maybe? Uh, yeah, I'll let them out, and I'll do dinner here in like 10 minutes. Do you want me to put, oh wait, we can't put all the, well, do you want the, uh, put, the, the put everybody out of the pond? No, just two boys. Oh, just the boys? All right, I'm going to go this way, then. I'll let them out. you we're gonna be the best of friends in the world.
like brown is purple. I texted them. Oh. Oh. What? Mid task. Frustration. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
say your your No. Yeah, it's a 
actually doing that when I'm like this week. There have been a couple times though where it's like I put the zip on the charger and then yeah.
Well, repeat, I can't remember in that tray. Okay. Yeah, she, yeah, so, she, she's been outside. doing that. She usually is surprised to see so. What's to go outside? It's so funny because. <laughs> <laughs> I When she, I'm inviting The way Paris looks when she, uh, <laughs> so furry, I know. She looks like she's getting all of her fur in it. Yeah. She's good at keeping it in there. She is. That's really weird. She I mean, besides, she like, any or anything there. besides, like, if she's outside and it's like, take her loose. It's terrible. It has to go for out of her ear. Really? Your ear. Hers. Where were you sitting? Because I, I brushed her out. Last night, so it was my new. Yeah, no, it was my new. He, he, um, I brought her out with a brush one. Like, you know how when they've been in there for a minute and they start, they're like softened up and all the fur is down to it. It was still like prickly and it was like brand new. Um, she, um, Oh wait, yeah. I um I brushed her up and made her all fucking soft and um she did not like that brush. She does like the soft side though. And this morning I was Oh yeah, you like the vacuum? Vacuum brush. No, just my regular brush. Um but I I was petting her this morning. I showed her the brush because I was about to pet her with the soft side because she likes it. And uh, she got scared of the brush. When I when she saw like the Daisy. prickly side because I because I almost brushed her with that thinking mm -hmm. it's the soft side. I feel bad. No, don't feel bad. She's a dog. She can stand to be brushed. <laughs> She'll be okay. She's a good girl. Plus, she was doing it with you, so she felt safe. Because you don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question. If you're if you're ever being like interrogated or something, if they ask to do a polygraph, you know. Well, but like, how do you say no? Because you just say, I need to talk to my lawyer first before I submit myself to anything like that. Oh, because I know there's like a certain way you have to, to. There doesn't have to be a nice like transition into the request for a lawyer. You could just be like, nah, I don't think so. I'm not a lawyer. Well, yeah, I was just asking because I know for like, if you want to stay silent, you have to say like, you plead the fifth, and you can't just say like, no, so you can you know, tell in like interrogations being questioned or interviewed by police. You don't have to, they don't, you don't plead the fit, you just you have a right to remain silent. And so you say, I want to invoke my right to remain silent. And that includes a polygraph. You don't have to take Oh, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about when uh, people are stopped. Oh, well, they wouldn't they stop you. They're not going to tell you to take a polygraph. Wait, no, I'm Which getting everything mixed up. I'm confused. 
And if you get pulled into an interrogation, um, when, uh, oh, there was this dude, uh, it was like a 14 minute video. It was this, uh, dude that was named like Jeff or something. I don't know if that's just what they called him, but, um, and, uh, he had been, this was like lots of times, is this a video on YouTube? Is it called me and Jeff or something? Yeah, I see that. What? It's a polygraph. Yeah. You're, you're, um, that's, have you just seen everything that's, on YouTube? That's by Jason, yes, right? I don't know. Yeah. I didn't see I've seen like all of their videos. I didn't see who. Yeah, I think the, the name Jeff is like, it's, it's a, an all American sort of name. But it was so funny seeing him not just be silent when he was asking if he understood his rights. He was, he was being smart until he took the coke. He hears something out. Big current one going on right now. I remember seeing the date line for it like almost 10 years ago now and thinking like, oh my god, they are never going to get who actually organized all this are they and how they actually finally are. And so it's just really cool to finally see like the crack happened in 2014. That's 10 years ago already? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's a tragic story. Daisy, what's up? She's barking at the food. She wants the food. Oh, you're barking at Bella's grilled cheese. Are you serious right now? Yeah. Are you serious, Daisy? Daisy, you are not getting Bella's grilled cheese. You don't get to bark at grilled cheese and it enters your mouth. Now she was alive, what she's doing. <laughs> you are so silly, Daisy. Daisy! <laughs> the Bella's grilled cheese is Bella's leftover dinner is right here. Day, that's what Daisy's working for. Daisy. And I don't know why she's barking like this because it's not going to give her table scraps. She gets a zero table scraps, do you? You don't get anything off the table. Daisy! I can't believe that you're. Why do you think that we're going to give this to you? <laughs> no! <laughs> wow, 
Why does Daisy always say you? I don't know. Does it when she wants something? Oh. I've noticed the other dog's starting to do it too. Maybe they're up on it. Yeah, I think they are. What, Bella? No, no brushes in here. <laughs> you are so ridiculous, Daisy. <laughs> No, you. <laughs> 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 Daisy, you already had your dinner. You do have is that you know, he doesn't really treat. <laughs> <laughs> I never give her shirts when she barks at me like this. Nope. You don't get to goodies when you bark. That. Parents just don't really get treats very often. So, what do you need, Bella? What's up? What do you need? What's up? Oh my gosh, Daisy. Sorry about that.
Get out of the garbage. I saw that. Is she the only one that knows how to open the garbage? I don't think so. We should put a baby lock on it. Yeah, we got some. Dad yeah, was talking about putting on there. How long ago? Um, there you go. Oh, okay. What was I gonna, what did I come in here for? Dogs? What are you getting into? What are you getting into? Why do I care? <laughs> do you see how excited she is for you? Oh, I excited. She knows it's time for bed. You got your snack to finish. If you don't finish it first, we'll bring her up right away, then she's going to finish. Oh, my God. 
Oh, good question. Or I don't think she would test the whole stick. I saw I saw some fragments. In her poop. Is she okay? She just said fragments.
Paris. Paris, come here. Hi.
ready? Ready? Just lay down and be quiet.
on my chair like an hour ago.
I just want to like that. Put the office. Come on. The potty piano. The potty piano. Are you okay? You okay? What? Are you okay?
Tray. I don't dogs always. You can put everybody outside but Tom and take care of everybody in one round. Why do you call a dog? Yeah, I would just take everybody out. Keep Tom and Juno in here. They both use the tray. So, um, apparently it's been proven that, um, in, uh, there's, like, like, time, and then there's the perceived time, and, um, your personal experiences can, um, mess with how you perceive time, and so during the lockdown, um, the reason why everybody feels like that didn't even happen, it was just, like, it was, if you, they feel like 2018 was, Two years ago, because um, it's because uh, the lockdown messed with our how we perceived time, and it went a lot. Um, I can't remember if it if you said slower. That doesn't really make sense. <laughs> Explain it. I was trying to. 
what I was trying to convey. You know. But um yeah, uh, everybody started uh, making theories about why why so long ago feels so recent. Um, and and this sort of um, I can't remember when that study was done, but I'm pretty sure it was recent. Outside, but you can't be with the boys. I know, I know, I know. And your fur's all pretty. You're looking pretty for the boys. I know. She's been backing up her rear end to the door. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I don't know if she's like trying to rub her scent. Like, I don't think it's like a, like a, like she's trying to approach them like that. She's like, Probably just so silly. Yeah. Curious if Tom Tom's mom bark sounded like because they both got awful barks. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think pom pom's worse. Pom pom's is worse though. Yeah, I agree. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna get a snack. Love you.
Oh, good girl, Juno. Alright, good girl, Juno. Juno, you're food. Just get in there. Wait. Come on, girls. Let's go. Come on. Everybody in. Except for Vienna. No, Vienna, not here. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on, Juno. Paris. Juno, let's go. Paris, come on. I'm not gonna be getting you for a little while, Paris. Come on. Just upstairs. She's potty and everything. So, uh, okay. come on, Juno. She's on park. Come on, Juno. 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 Uh, That's a good Juno. Hi, baby. Okay. Hey everybody, sleep well. See you tomorrow. Ten thirty.